I just realized the camera's right here, so I gotta be in the shot. We're gonna play a game of this or that, alright? So we're gonna choose uh, different things. I'm gonna give you some options. You're gonna cheer for the one that you guys like more, okay? So let's put the first option up. Let's see the first option. Can I get the, the verses? Can I get the thing in the monitor again, too, please? Alright, first we got either you guys can be camping or swimming at the beach, alright? So let's make some noise for camping. Let's make some noise for swimming at the beach. They like the beach. Alright. Let's see, uh, the next one is rainy days or sunset vibes. So what kind of vibe do you guys prefer better? The rainy days or sunset? So, so make some noise for rainy days. Yeah! Weird, but okay. Make some noise for sunsets. Yeah! Me too, me too. Alright, next one's a little bit harder. Make some noise for, so we have either hiking or tubing. So make some noise for hiking. Yeah, because someone has told you guys before to take a hike and you guys were like, no, never. And make some noise for... That's a good point, that's a good point. And make some noise for tubing. Random side note, when we were at the, the, the retreat, the last retreat at Muskoka, I was tubing and then uh, Pastor Brandon was like, you didn't really go, you have to go on the bump. Right, so I, took the, I went again, I went on the bump. Literally when I went, my soul left my body. I was like, oh, Lord Jesus. I saw it, I had to grab it again. But, all right, last one. Ready? Winter time or summertime? Summer! I, I didn't say it again. I didn't give you a chance to. Gabrielle, you gotta wait. Make some noise for winter. You are the best like, girl. I love it. Make some noise for, I'm so sorry. They're gonna, they're gonna drown you out right now. Make some noise for summertime. Good choice, good choice. All right, let me tell you guys, though, personally, uh, when it came to the voting between the beach or camping, I choose camping. Now, because back then, a few years ago, I got to go camping with some of my friends. It was amazing. Uh, we got the tents ready. We, we drove way out somewhere in Ontario to some next park with like a really big field for, like, for camping and stuff. We set up our tents. We set up the campfires. It was amazing. We were ready to go. And yeah, but we had the mosquito spray on lock. What do you, what do you mean? Someone mentioned that last service. We had it on lock, the mosquito spray. And all of a sudden, we stayed up late, we were having a great time. I was like, you know what, I'm on vacation, I can sleep in, right? I can sleep in the tents all night and the next morning. So I thought, okay, let's stay up late, we hang out, we have a great time, we have some s'mores, it was awesome. But then, all of a sudden, I go to bed, I sleep, the, the, we were on the grass, so the sleeping bag was even comfortable too, which is like, you know you're about to have like a really good sleep. So, 5 a.m. in the morning, everyone else is asleep, I'm a very light sleeper. A bird all of a sudden decides to like land right on my tent, and then just 5 a.m., remember, just go, come, 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 come! And I almost had a heart attack. Uh, I don't, in my mind, I was like, what kind of birds in Toronto make this noise? Like, I've, I've never heard this before in Ontario. So some so next bird. Probably, probably, yeah, that, but in, in the summertime, just in the, in the, maybe actually in the forest. But it was very random. No one else woke up but me. That's the, that's the weird part. But it was loud, so I was like, you know what, if I'm awake, I want to sleep in, let me just go outside, right? So I go outside my tent, I sit in the chair, there's a nice sun, uh, sunrise going on, and I decide, you know what, I'm going to read my, my, my Bible. I had an amazing time, though. I had an amazing time in nature reading God's Word, and I got to reflect on God's creation, and it was beautiful. And that's, that's what I noticed. God made everything with so much care and love. Uh, and I've been blessed countless times to see God's creation in different places. And I'm pretty sure all of you guys have been, too. Uh, and let me ask you guys, actually, what are your favorite parts of nature? So what, what's your favorite part? Joy. Trees, because you can climb. I love that answer. Hiking in like really, I, I don't know. Hiking in forests. But oh yeah. Kind of these, like, what kind of forest? So hiking in the forest, though, is your your thing? Yeah, I love, I love it. it. I the right when I was in Ireland, I was I was going everywhere. Um, actually, just the quietness and just Just the quietness of oh my gosh, I like the Italian and then Caleb. Or just okay. animals. Animals. <laughs> Okay, animals, it's turning animals into food. Dark, okay. Caleb. Yeah, very dark. Huh? Huh? Mountains. Mountains, ooh, I like that. All right, uh, let me get one on this side, yeah. If you're gonna say the winter snow, I don't know what to say, yeah. Uh, sleepaway camp. 
sleepaway camp. Okay, interesting. Yeah, as you guys noticed, there's so many different things. Mountains, uh, you know, all these different kinds of things. I personally like the clouds and sunsets the most. That's, that's beautiful to me. I see God reflected in that. Uh, but if I ask you guys why you guys enjoy those parts of nature, uh, you guys might answer in ways like it feels good uh, to look at those things. Uh, maybe it makes you guys happy. Uh, maybe you guys feel at peace. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, what if I told you guys that ma nature is meant to make you guys feel that way? Yeah. Nature is meant to make you guys. And even it's scientifically proven that not only interacting with nature, but even looking at pictures of nature can have uh, improvements on our well-being. Pictures, not even interacting, you're not even breathing it. Pictures of it can like uh, can boost our our mood. It can reduce stress, and it can just improve our well-being overall, just by looking at a picture of it. Uh, maybe you guys are you know stressed out about that next test, or fighting with a friend or family member, or just dealing with a lot of issues. But then nature, all of a sudden, just nature. Uh, the night sky with the countless stars, uh, the ocean breeze. You feel the ocean breeze. You smell the salt in the air and the coldness. You get to see the beautiful view. The biggest mountains you can imagine all the trees that you can see, your favorite trees, the greenery in the park, the birds chirping, not yelling, but just chirping. <laughs> yeah, not the beauty yelling, of that. Now, maybe it doesn't make your problems go away, but it makes them feel a lot smaller, even for a moment. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like God made things like that beautiful for a reason. Uh, when we respond to these things, we're actually responding to God. Now, the same way that we're singing up here worshiping and doing these dances and raising our hands, and it's beautiful seeing you guys do that, it's awesome. I also think that it's awesome to see you guys engage with nature, look at the mountains, look at the skies, look at the trees, the, the parks, everything, and see God uh, and His creativity reflected in those things. Uh, when we respond to nature, we're responding to God, and God made creation for us to enjoy it. And that, that's, all, that's, that's, that's my favorite part about this lesson. This, is, this lesson is about teaching you guys how to enjoy what God gave us. Uh, and what is creation, though? What is creation? Well, it says it up there. Creation is everything God made in the world around us. So this includes the sun, the moon, the air, water, plants, animals, and everything else that exists on this planet. So everyone, everyone take a deep breath in, just, just a real deep breath in, all right? That air, who, who made that air? God did, yeah. Uh, everyone take a real good stomp, just stomp one time, and just twist your feet, just real, get up in there, get up in the earth real good. All right, yes. The trees, guy. Who made the trees? God. You, you get it. But and even to this point, what, what, what's over here? Carpet, right? And below that, what's below it? Concrete. I know. But below that, the earth. The earth, right? The, 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 and who made the earth? God did, right? And everyone, think about the the nature at, at nighttime, right? And even like you said, the trees. Think about those trees that you climb on. Who made those trees? God did. They're made by seeing the, oh, and you know what, no matter how you guys look at it, God made those things. And I think, you know, I'm glad you recognize it. Even the buildings that were, God made us, and we made those things creatively, and we reflect God's goodness. And guess what? Think about those cute creatures, those little cute animals you guys like. Put, put it up. Just. And guess, and guess who made that? God did. And another one, another one. You guys, you guys are ready for this. Poke yourself one time, guys. Poke yourself one time. And guess, guess who made that? God did. You guys are one of those amazing things that God created too. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but guess what? God took part in that. God is basically like the, the person at the beach making that sand castle. He's taking part in creation, making these different things. Every single thing that comes to creation, he's like an artist making it happen. And you guys are all part of that too. When we talk about creation, one of the things we also talk about is caring for creation. More specifically, what can we do right now as middle schoolers to care for the world around us that God made? Right? Now, maybe some of you guys might think this is an adult issue. Uh, maybe this talk comes up in school, uh, like in science class or in Earth Day. You guys have Earth Day? Yeah. yeah you guys have Earth Day? Maybe this is something you guys are really passionate about. And you guys are like, man, like, I, I really want to make a difference. Or something you guys couldn't care less about. Uh, maybe you guys feel like you can't make much of a difference in this world at all. You guys are like, I'm just one person. The, the world's being polluted constantly. Isn't that called an um, environmentalist? Yeah, yeah, believe in that. Like, there's, there's different things. The reality is, though, it's a trending topic. And that's why we use the word trending, because we, we want to take some time to talk about trending things in your lives and what, what goes on in tweens' lives. And one of them is the environment, because guess what? We're living in it, right? Uh, and the reality is we have to actually recognize that creation itself points to the creator. And that's why I think it's important for us to talk about that. And when we're experiencing nature, guess what, guys? We experience God, and it reflects God. And creation is something that God cares about. And now we're going to dive deeper into that. And remember I made the joke about like my passion is to cut trees down. I noticed that. I was like, 
Yeah, but guess what? Rats also care for it, so we want to make sure we're planting some trees too. And now we're going to talk about the book of David. You got, no, sorry, not the book of David, but a guy named David who wrote a book called Psalms. Can everyone say Psalms? Psalms. The P is silent. Now, Psalms was written by a man named David. Now, what was David? What was his profession, if you guys know? Oh. Yeah. Musician. I was one of his things, actually, yeah. What else? He was a very good He was a shepherd, yeah. So before he was a king, he was a shepherd. And what do shepherds do? Oh, they take care Someone said take care of sheep. Yeah, you, you get it. They take care of the animals. So David had a lot of time that he spent indoors. Outdoors. Outdoors, yeah. So he had a lot of time in nature, right? He had a lot of time to experience the world that God made around him. Now David was also a poet, a musician, and he would write down some of his prayers, his thoughts, and even poems. Uh, and reflect his experiences, and even reflect his experience with God. And that's where we get the book of Psalms. And here's what he wrote about creation. All right, so I need you guys to help me out here. This is what the verse says. The earth is the Lord, and everything in it, the world, and all who live in it, for he it on the seas and it on the waters. So why should we care about creation? Hold, hold it right there. Why should we care about creation? Who can tell me why should we should care about creation? Uh, Josh. Because God owns it and he created us. Second part's what? God owns it, yeah, but God created it. God made it. And the fact that God made creation is why it's valuable. And that's why it's important that we talk about it, but also important that we care about it. Now, God, God didn't just make these things, and when he made it, he was like, meh. But God made it, and he was like, because he's great, he made things and used a certain word, all right? And let's go over some of the things that God made in Genesis 1, all right? So it said, he made the light, and then he called it good, right? Uh, yeah, he, he called it good. And then he made the land, and he said, good. Yeah, and then he made, he made the seas, and he said, good. He made the plants, good. The fruit trees, good. Ooh, good. The sun, moon, and stars, good. The birds and the sea creatures, good. The animals, good. People, Good. good, very good. He was good over and over again. Uh, and here's the thing. This is how he summed up the whole creation story, right? God saw all that he had made. We'll try that again. I think I messed up there. God saw all that he had made. And it was very good. What was the word that God used to describe creation, guys? Genesis. Good. Not just good, though. He said very good. Everyone say very good. Very good. And that's how God made creation. That's how he feels about creation. Now, what are some things that are very good in your lives, guys? It doesn't have to be related to nature. It doesn't have to be. Your family. That's an awesome answer. We're going to give you someone else a chance. Huh? Music. I love that. Uh, you should, you should, Kayla had your hand up, too. Yeah. Jennifer, go for it. Yeah. Um, your best, that's exactly the answer I was looking for. You had one? The world, yeah. Where I live. Where, your home? Yeah. Uh, huh? Yeah, that's a good answer. Uh, okay. Food. Food. All right, now I'm going to give you guys a good question. Now, think about the thing. Maybe it's your home, your pet dog, your best friend. Uh, someone's in the first service with their phone. Uh, now, if you guys think something is very good, how should we treat it? Now, if I had a friend, should I, should I ignore them and kind of just treat them badly? Yeah. Should I just like randomly just <clears throat> punch them for no reason? Is that, no. is that very, is that, no. if I think that my friend is very good, if I think my family is very good, how should I treat them? Good. Very good. Not only good. So if God made creation very good, how should we treat creation? Very good. Because it matters to him, so it should matter to us. Amen. All right, that's, that's the whole point right here. In the same way we recognize God, what he viewed it, we should treat creation the way that God created it. When he created it, he says very good, so we should treat it very good. Now, this isn't just an idea, all right? This isn't just an idea that we had suddenly. This is how God intended for us to treat creation. There's another Bible verse that I have for you guys. Now, let's, let's read this one. It says, the Lord, took, the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. Everyone say care. Care. Now, God commanded them to take care of the creation that he made. Now, we were made to treat creation like God created it. Good. Very good. Now, how can we treat creation the way God intended it, though? And my favorite, my favorite is the first step of the application, the very first one. And Nicole, you can, you can put it up. I love this. Enjoy what God created. Can you guys read that out loud? Enjoy what God created. That is one of my favorite applications for you guys. Just enjoy. Take a walk in nature. Really look at the clouds. Look at the skies. Uh, look at the trees, the plants, the insects, everything. And recognize God did that. 
That's what God did. And look at how beautiful it is. Look at how God's creativity is shown. Really enjoy what God did. Guess what? When you guys do that, you guys are actually worshiping God. When you guys pick some flowers for your mom, you guys are enjoying what God made. All those different things are ways to connect and spend time with Him. You guys will notice God in creation. That's how I grew closer to God personally. I looked at nature and I saw Him. Yeah. Second thing. You guys read the second one out loud? Respect, Respect the creatures He made. Like I said, just because we think something is very good doesn't mean we should mistreat it. It means we should treat it very good. We shouldn't just punch our friend. We shouldn't just mistreat animals. We should take care of the things that we see. Respect the creatures He made. Don't abuse the things that He made. Don't take advantage of it. Be, be kind to it. And last one. Let's see the third one. Read that out loud, guys. And how should we do that? What, what are the two words again? Very good. And, very, and I'll say very good to you guys, but we treat it very good. Don't be afraid to you know, do the right thing for the environment. Recycle all these different things. Because guess what? Those little bits you guys do, you guys might think I'm not making much of a difference. But imagine if all of us do that. We can all make a big difference together. Right? We can, we can make a difference. Like I said, pick up flowers. Pick up, pick up the garbage you guys see also. Try cleaning up. Try taking care of even the, the creation that God's gifted. You guys have, if you guys have a pet, treat it very good. If you guys have family and friends, treat your, those people around you very good. And also treat yourselves very good too. Like I said, you guys can make a big difference. And I want you guys to enjoy what God created and treat it the way that He gifted it to you guys. Amen. Let's say a prayer. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day giving us today. Thank you for this time. Uh, thank you for the creation that you made, Holy Father. We, we thank you so much for the fact that you blessed us with so much. And there's so much beauty to what you made, Lord. I'm praying that students even think about their favorite parts of the, the creation, Lord, that you made. Help us to see you uh, being reflected in those things. Help us see your creativity, your personality, God, and your love that you have for us in the creation that you made. Uh, we love you, God. We thank you. We pray that we can worship you, God, as we treat creation the way that you intended it, Lord. In Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen.